This really happened while millions of people watched. Oh man, I guess I fell asleep. I was too busy watching a Fresh Prince marathon. The next morning I woke up to a buzzing. There was about a thousand messages just blowing up my phone. I washed my face. <laughs> That's my favorite YouTuber. What could he have possibly done? I quickly went to Google and searched it up and... Oh. My. God. This couldn't be happening. No. No. One little fight and my wife got scared. One, one little fight and my wife got scared. It's March, but she got, got August scared. on her mind. Come got on, scared. as a comedian yourself, you should know Chris was joking. You posted this, this point in your career, you can't take a joke. That was completely out of it. Not cool. You just lost I lost all the wrong, 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 wrong. I think you terrible took the entire thing to do. Yeah, but you only have to chill. For a comedian, you can't take a joke. You lost your mind. Let her go, brother. So I sort of did this video as a hybrid, half a documentary, half a reaction video. It's the first time I've done a video like this, but it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And I think this is the perfect topic to do it. So the way I'm going to do it is I've just given you the intro. The next thing I'm going to do is break down what happened. Then I'll look at the aftermath of Chris, Jada and Wool. I'll also take a look at how the audience and people are reacting. Then I'll give you the impressions of myself and the Academy. And after that, I'll try to explore three of the best theories on the internet as to why this may have happened before finishing with a conclusion. I hope you enjoyed Enjoy. So, Will Smith did a thing, and I would like to break it down. I'm going to try and look at every single side of the situation while also offering my opinion. If you do know me, hi. If you don't, I'm just some brown guy. Look, if you like the video at the end of it, slap that subscribe button. <laughs> Sorry. But let's get one thing straight right now. If Chris Rock was The Rock, Will Smith would have never done that. In fact, let me show you what I think would have happened if it was The Rock up there. <laughs> <laughs> One of you jabronis pulled the rocks two balls. You jabronis hit the jackpot. The rock has come. I want head at party. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. But let's start at the place where everything melted down. The Oscars. By the way, if you're a Will Smith fan, which I am, this is going to be a tough watch. So, sorry in advance. So, Chris Rock is hosting the Oscars. As a host, by and large, the comedians make fun of the people there. They do it to lightly roast the contestants and make them laugh at themselves. Because ultimately, the Academy Awards ceremony is given to people who are rich by people who are rich. It's pretty self-serving. So to humanize it, they usually get a comedian to poke fun at the contestants. Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Chris Rock, famous comedian, hosting. This is his second time hosting. First time he hosted, didn't get slapped. Now if she loses, he can't win! <laughs> <laughs> Things are going well. He makes a joke about Javier Bardem. Then he gets to Will Smith. Praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please. Jada, I love you. There we go. Will Smith's looking happy. He's looking like a happy chappy. He's looking like Fresh Prince Will Smith, not I Am Legend Will Smith. You know what I mean? G.I. Jane 2 can't wait to see it. All right? And there it is. That was the joke. So if you were waiting for like a bigger punchline, something heavier, it's not coming. The joke was comparing Jada Pinkett Smith to G.I. Jane. The comparison was made because of Jada Pinkett Smith's hair. Now, Jada Pinkett Smith suffers with alopecia. It pretty much means hair loss. And while it's not anything life-threatening, it still is a sensitive subject, I'm sure. Because of her short hair, Chris Rock compares her look to G.I. Jane, and that makes Jada visibly uncomfortable. <laughs> However, Will Smith seems to be laughing. Now, does that look like the face of a man who is about to defend his wife's honor? Or is that the face of a man who looks at his wife, sees her face, and then is like, Oh, I'm gonna sleep outside if I don't slap him. You tell me. Okay, so Chris Rock is like, Oh, you know, it was a light one, nothing heavy. But Will Smith proceeds to walk up onto the stage. It's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> he then cocks his hand back and pump slaps Chris Rock. <laughs> In 
the face. Oh, wow. Wow. That's not pepper. That's a salt. Literally, when I saw this, my eyes almost fell out of my damn head. I could not believe what I was seeing. I couldn't process that a man did that to another man in front of everyone while the cameras were watching. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. So then Will Smith sits down and screams from the balcony to keep my wife's name out your f Colombian. mouth. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. And then he repeats it even louder, like he's on the set of Fresh Prince of Bel Air, just hoping someone will say, "Cut, that was a good job, Will." But but nobody said that. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? At this point, everybody in the crowd is stunned because initially they thought the slap might have been part of the joke. Until Will Smith started screaming, in which case people are now thinking, what did I just witness? There's a lot of confusion going on. And Chris Rock, being the consummate professional he is, continues with the show and even makes light of the situation. He does have a moment where he says, oh, I could. <laughs> oh, I could. Oh, okay. And I have no idea what he was thinking, but I thought he was about to rip into them. But he proved to be the bigger man in that situation and carried on with the show. So that is the breakdown of the situation. Keep in mind, this is at the Oscars, and Will Smith is up for a nomination for Best Actor, which he wins 10 minutes later. Okay, so let me give you my initial reaction and my opinion on the situation before I move on. I feel like no matter what side you're on, whether you agree with Will Smith or Chris Rock, I think we can all agree that what Will Smith did was wrong. I feel like there are other ways to handle that, that didn't involve inciting what he did. You should not be slapping people on national television. Will Smith is someone who has over 60 million people following him on Instagram. He's a successful YouTuber, a musician, and a movie star. The amount of power that he has is insurmountable. And the fact that he let his emotions control his actions in front of everyone on the biggest moment of his career speaks volumes about his character. I understand that people make mistakes. And I understand that emotions run high, but I cannot condone the actions of someone who literally did what he did. Oh, oh, there you go. Hey, check this out. Here's the situation. Say you out with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you know, you're at school, you had a club or something, getting busy. All right, you just having fun. Somebody steps up to you and they tell you they want to rumble. All right, now, now just stop for a second. Before you lose your head, get all crazy and toss your hands up. Just think. The person that uses the head can always defeat the person that's just trying to use their hands. Because realistically, there are a lot of kids, a lot of people, a lot of grown-ups who look up to this man, including myself. So it's really hard for me to side with you when you're walking up to comedians and treating them like you would on GTA 5 if they were hookers. Personally, I don't see how this is excusable. But, like I said, I'd like to break down every side. The thing is, there's a lot of implications with this as well. Like, for instance, if Chris Rock were a woman and this still happened, we wouldn't be hearing of Will Smith very much longer, right? Also, if Will Smith wasn't Will Smith and maybe just a normal man and did this, are you really telling me that the person would get away with this? However, we are talking about Hollywood and they've been known to bend a few rules, if you know what I mean, so. So, after an incident like that, I had to head on to Twitter to see what the reaction of the people were. Needless to say, it was split at best. Tom Segura says, F Will Smith's candy ass smacking a dude 4 inches shorter and 50 pounds lighter. He just in his feelings cause his bald headed mm hmm been mm hmm around on him for years. We all know who he wishes he could slap. Hashtag cuck wool. Wow, okay, some people are really making their feelings known. <laughs> just saw the Will Smith slap. Anyone have a late night show I could borrow just for tomorrow? Wow, this was real and not scripted at all because she's dealing with alopecia for her hair loss and she's very sensitive about it. She said that on Red Table Talk. I can't believe dude hasn't been arrested for and taken out of the room. This is not the answer to anything. Um, sure it is. Somebody violates your family? You gonna talk about it? or pray it away. Tactless and cruel joke. That was not respectful of Chris Rock to call attention to Jada's shaved head. Jada has been public about it on her Red Table shows. You should make a public slash private apology to Jada. Imagine if everyone acted that way if they heard something they didn't like. Way to set an example for our children, Will. You could have yelled the same thing and left the 
out. Disappointed in Will Smith. Not warranted at all. I would like to bet everything I have next year there will be a Super Bowl commercial with Will Smith and Chris Rock eating tositos or something saying the new queso really slaps. Ah, here comes the memes, the pursuit of slappiness. There it is. <laughs> Inspired by a true story. Will Smith and Chris Rock on the set of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, circa 95. Chris Rock POV. Chris Rock. Lupita in the background be like. Then there's a video of Will Smith making fun of a bald man. Like he has a rule. The bass player, he got a rule. He got to wax his head every morning. That's a rule. He follows the rules, man. He follows the rules. Jokes, come on. So if there's two things I've learned from this Twitter segment, it's that no matter what incident occurs, there will be two sides to every story. It seems pretty even to be honest with you. I'm not sure who's more in the right. And the other thing I've learned is that Uganda makes some of the greatest t-shirts on earth. Give me one. The aftermath. First of all, let me start with Jada. So as we've established, the joke has to do with her hair and her being compared to G.I. Jane. Jada Pinkett Smith has battled with hair loss for a while now, and she's actually documented her journey. And I don't think this is just for women, but for a person to lose their hair, it's gotta be some of the most demoralizing stuff that I've ever seen. I know people who have had it and I know how sensitive it makes you. And I can only imagine as a woman, it would make you feel like twice as bad. Now, Jada's talked about it frequently and she also said that she shaved her hair because of Willow Smith. But I also found an article where Jada seemed to have made peace with her hair loss, saying, now at this point, I can only laugh. Y'all know I've been struggling with alopecia and just all of a sudden one day, look at this line right here. Look at that, it just showed up like that and it's going to be a little bit more difficult to hide. So I thought I'd just share it so you all are not asking any questions. And that is a picture she posted to Instagram. A few days after the joke and the incident occurred, Jada Pinkett Smith took to Instagram to write somewhat of a cryptic message. This is a season for healing and I'm here for it. With that being said, I hope Jada Pinkett is okay and can move from this peacefully. So with that context being said, let's get to Chris Rock. Chris Rock and the aftermath. So being objective, you have to explore both sides of the situation. And when it comes to Chris Rock, I had a look on Twitter and a lot of people are on Jada's side. A lot of people seem to think Chris Rock went too far with the joke. Some people even thinking that what Will Smith did was justified. While I don't agree with that second part, let's break down the first one. Was Chris Rock out of line? Eh, maybe, maybe. Comedy is subjective, so for someone to say you should have known not to make a certain joke is almost impossible for the comedian to know. In fact, the Oscars actually hire comedians to make fun of the people who attend these shows. To further my point on comedians roasting the people who turn up to these events, all you have to do is look at Ricky Gervais. He is amazing at what he does, and every time they ask him to host something, he does not care. Just have a listen to this. Let's have a laugh at your expense, shall we? Remember, they're just jokes. We're all gonna die soon, and there's no sequel. It was a big year for movies. Um, surviving R. Kelly, Leaving Neverland, Two Popes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I don't care. Yes, again, I think the joke might be a little insensitive. Is it in bad taste? Is it a bad joke? Maybe so. Does it deserve Will Smith doing what he did? Absolutely not. So after the incident with Chris Rock, apparently he went to his dressing room, did not issue a statement, but did also attend the after party. Before we end the Chris Rock segment, I think that it's important to note that I found a piece of information that I think will be valuable to you guys. It probably shows why he handled the incident the way he did. Just a few months before the incident happened, for the first time ever, Chris Rock seemingly opened up about his past and getting bullied. In my childhood, I was bullied ridiculously. Half of it, the bullying, because I was just a little guy. And then I got bused to school, so I got, I was a little guy and I was black. One day, a guy really disrespected me really bad, like, mushed me at a party. And I went home, I put a brick in a book bag, and smacked this guy in the face, and then stomped him Joe Pesci style. As my shrink puts it to me, you have been scared to be angry ever since. So, the guy you saw, was bending over backwards to be nice because I was so scared of my anger. I think this video sort of gives us a clue as to why he handled the situation the way he did. And kudos to Chris for doing so and not taking more action. All right, now let's get on to the big man himself, Will Smith. Clearly, something went wrong. Big Wooly style was sitting there enjoying his day, laughing at the expense of his wife until she looked at him and he was like, oh no, you didn't, Chris. Literally, my two childhood icons, Marty the Zebra and Oscar the Fish, 
I fight it. It's crazy. All I need now is Jack Black and Matthew Broderick, and I got Simba vs Kung Fu Panda. I don't know who's gonna win. Not 10 minutes after the pump slap of the century, Will Smith goes on to win the Best Actor Award, and ironically says this. Richard Williams um, was a fierce defender of his family. <laughs> nice. <laughs> But it's still illegal. I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. Congratulations. I mean, I should be sitting here and applauding this man. It's like when Leonardo DiCaprio won the Oscar. Everyone had this sigh of relief because they were like, you deserved it for so long. But instead of a moment of absolute gratitude and, oh, you deserved it so much, everybody's sitting there in shock like, what, what did you just do? I'm being called on in my life to love people. He says after smacking someone upside the head. And to protect people. Protect people? Okay. Jesus Christ, it seems like people need to be protected from you, actually. I'm being called on to love people. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, I accept this Oscar for Best Actor for me playing a tennis man. And I know to do what we do, you got to be able to take abuse. You got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. Which is ironic because that's what just happened to Chris Rock. He took it and he had someone talk crazy about him. I just, I don't get if he sees the irony in the situation. I, I really don't. I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. Um, Unfortunately, the one person he should have apologized to, Chris Rock, was somehow missing in that apology, which I just don't understand. Was it a hard thing to be like, I'm sorry for slapping you upside the head, my bro? Love will make you do crazy things. Um... Uh, uh, Hoping Academy invites me back. Thank you. <laughs> and that is the justification that Will Smith gave that night, which is just really sad that instead of uh, owning up and taking accountability, he avoided it and played it off like, yeah, love makes you do some crazy things. Sometimes you just... Uh. He ends the speech with a little joke by saying he hopes the Academy will invite him back. And there's actually more to that which I will get into later, but I think they definitely will invite him back. But not for the reasons we all want. Will Smith then got so sad that he brought his family out and started dancing at the after party. So as you can tell, he's a really broken man and he is just so sorry for what he did. <laughs> In between those moments, Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry pulled Will Smith to the side to have a talk with him. Diddy also said that everything will be sorted out it didn't get sorted out. I think Diddy was just drinking Ciroc and forgot what happened. And like I said, Will Smith went to the after party and danced his arse off after winning the Oscar. Well deserved, I guess. God damn, Will Smith had a hell of a day, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh at a joke, see your wife mad, slap up a guy, <laughs> win an Oscar, come through and dance to your own song at the after party while everyone awkwardly watches you like... Should we dance or...? And that's Will Smith's aftermath. What would the Academy do? So my initial reaction, like a lot of people that I saw on Twitter, was what would the Academy do? Surely they'd say something, but it was kind of underwhelming. The Academy does not condone of any form. Tonight, we are delighted to celebrate our 94th Academy Award winners who deserve this moment of recognition from their peers and movie lovers around the world. Literally, one line dedicated to something that shocked the world. I feel like regardless of what side you're on, we can all agree that seeing that on national television or international television was not a good idea. There are a lot of kids who watched it, and there are millions of people who look up to Mr. Smith and probably should not have seen what he did because that's not a role model thing to do, especially in public, right? But besides that one line, they have said nothing. There was a little statement put out by a news channel saying that they considered removing Will Smith after the altercation, but didn't. And then he went on to win the Oscar. That's classy. 
But what do you expect from people as classy as this? It's rough, you know what I mean? I just gotta get on down here. Make sure you're okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, let me get on in there. Yeah. Jay, He's I feeling love you. good, everybody. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. If a guy did that to some of the girls in their dresses, <laughs> the LAPD would have to make a reappearance. I'll be it for me to judge, but I really think that this is a mishandling on the Academy's part, if anything. Not doing anything about this at all just shows how much they care about ratings over actual people's feelings. Next year, I cannot wait for Leonardo DiCaprio to body slam Christoph Waltz through a wall for saying Austria is better than Australia. Also, I think it would be hilarious if I saw Willem Dafoe fondle someone's balls and then say April Fools even though it's February. That would be fun. So yes, Oscars, you did it. I'm finally ready to watch the shitty show where people win awards even though they're already rich. I love it. So with that being said, I want to figure out why exactly this happened. And I have three theories. Now I've scoured around the internet to find these. I think the third one's my favorite, but you'll have to see. Theory one, it was all fake. Hmm. What if I told you this whole thing was fake? Would you believe me? I mean, we are at the best acting show in the world, right? Everybody there is an actor. I mean, if anybody can pull it off, it would be everybody in that room, right? Will Smith, who's up for the best actor award, acts his way into superstardom. So then the question would be, why would they fake it? Why would they need to fake a moment like that? It's simple. I don't know if you're aware of this, but the Oscars have had such a steep decline in viewership over the last 10 years, it's unbelievable. I actually pulled up a chart of Nielsen ratings, which are the official ratings of TV in the USA. And it says the Academy Awards TV viewership in the US from 2010 to 2021 in millions. In 2010 was at 41.6 million. And in 2021, 9.85 million. In fact, the year before, 2018, had a viewership of 23.6 million. It dropped by 58% in one year. Every single year, the ratings have declined. People do not care about the Oscars like they used to. And quite frankly, a lot of the comments that I've been seeing on Twitter is that if Will Smith never had pulled this move, nobody would have known the Oscars even were on. I can single-handedly say I had no idea the Oscars were on when it happened. I was given this by my friend and then I looked at it and I was like, wow, I cannot believe this happened. And then it got me interested in the Oscars again. So I think there's some validity to this theory, but is it fake? Well, like I said, Will Smith is up for best actor and he won. Will Smith has played many things in his life. A Men in Black, A Judgment Day, A I Robot, I Am Legend, Hitch, Bitch. I don't so wouldn't it be an amazing ruse if it felt like something that was real and unprepared and it got everybody talking about it which it absolutely did if you look at the guardians video i mean this is one off if not the most viral moment on television of all time not even one hour after the slap over 600,000 more people tuned in to watch the Oscars. The next day, Nielsen ratings reported that the Oscars viewership went up by over 50%. So if it was faked, it definitely worked. I don't think I've ever seen something like this in my life. And it's on the Oscars in the biggest stage in the world. Coincidence? Maybe not. At the same time, I did watch this clip many times. I will say that slap looked ultra real and Chris Rock flinched in real time as any man would not really knowing what the situation was. He didn't even wipe his cheek though. He either has a steel chin or Will Smith's slapping power is like at 20% or something. Cause Will put every, he put his Will power into that slap and Chris Rock was not moved. He wasn't even phased. The thing to me that makes it real is Will Smith going to sit back down and screaming and also cussing him out on live television. The American broadcast actually cut it off at the time so people didn't know what was going on and probably still thought it was a skit, but people in Australia got the live uncensored version. And I think when you look at it uncensored, you could really see the hostility in his eyes. Do you think they awarded Will Smith the Oscar because they said, if you do this, we'll guarantee that you win it? Do you think they would be that slimy? I wouldn't put it past them. I mean, on one hand, it looks way too real to be fake. A pure outburst from a man that we've known and loved all our lives. Just all of a sudden, almost single-handedly ruining his reputation. You've seen the quote millions of times. Warren Buffett said it. It takes 20 years to build a reputation and 20 seconds to ruin it. Do you think Will Smith really would do that? 
just to hold the Oscar. Do you think he would really cuss on national television twice when Will Smith has been known to be the cleanest rapper in the game since Vanilla Ice? Do you think Will Smith would really risk everything in his career for one Oscar? I don't know. I find it hard to believe. But at the same time, I don't know if I can put it past the Oscars. The fact that the party went on and the fact that nobody really saw any repercussions and just 10 minutes later they awarded him his Oscar. And also, very interesting to note that he got to speak for 5 to 6 minutes. Whereas when you normally win the Oscar, you do not get that much time. They normally play the music and push you out. The producers were either scared or maybe, maybe. It was planned. I think this theory is a 5 out of 10. It's a 50-50. Whichever way you're leaning towards, I don't know. Personally, I think it's real, but I wouldn't put it past the Oscars. Theory 2, method acting. This is the craziest one, it's the most out there one. But what if Will Smith was so in character that he let his emotions from the movie dictate what he was doing. I know it sounds crazy, but have you seen what method actors do? For instance, have you heard about the story of Jared Leto on the set of Suicide Squad, where he sent Margot Robbie a dead rat and other people other things? In order to prepare for his role for the Joker, Jared Leto supposedly sent some of the cast wild presents like dead animals and rats, which they were not happy with. Or how about Daniel Day-Lewis, probably the most famous method actor in the world. For his role in Last of the Mohicans, he apparently didn't shower for a month, which is pretty bad. And let's not forget Adrian Brody, who was 29 at the time he won his Oscar. He won it for The Pianist, in which he played a Polish pianist in war-torn Germany. And to prepare for his role, he sold everything, including his apartment, car, and gave away his phone, and subsequently broke up with his girlfriend because she had no communication with him because he was busy playing a role. <laughs> I love acting. I love it so much, I got a scholarship to America because I'm good at it. And I love method acting. But I'll tell you what, there is such a thing as too far. Because if there wasn't such a thing as too far, a lot of method actors would be in jail right now. For instance, the movie Silence of the Lambs, Anthony Hopkins plays someone who eats people. It, it was a movie, so they yelled cut, and everyone was alive and well, but if to prepare for his role, he actually, I don't know, ate something other than ass, I think that would be too far. What I'm saying is that a lot of method actors can take it too far and just go overboard with their roles. Now there's not much to support this theory other than the fact that the role that Will Smith played was that of King Richard. Richard was the father of Venus and Serena Williams and he had a very strict regimen to get his daughters to Wimbledon. He was overbearing, overprotective, ultimately a good father but someone who was just very very much in people's faces and he protected his family at all costs which is what will smith said in the speech richard williams um, was a fierce defender of his family now is there a possibility that will smith was so in character for his role which he won the oscar for he acted so hard that he couldn't remove himself from the character. So maybe when he heard someone talking about his wife, he was like, oh, I am King Richard. And he went up to Chris Rock and was like, Psh. because hey, that was a forehand slap. And if he had a racket in his hand, that would have been like an ace serve. So maybe he was just so enamored with his role that even months after he had wrapped up filming, he couldn't part with it because he liked the character so much and couldn't remove it from himself. Maybe. Is the theory valid? Um, I'd give it a 3 out of 10. Honestly, after someone yells cut and you go home to your actual family and you realize you are not that person anymore, after months, I think you're fine. Especially at an award ceremony, I don't think anybody's playing the character stole. So while there's probably no real validity to it, I think there's a small hope he saw King Richard in himself at that moment. Theory number three, Will Smith and the scrutiny of his marriage. This is my favorite theory. I think this is the theory that might be the most plausible and it has to do with Will Smith and Jada Pinkett's marriage. Namely, the fact that it hasn't been going too well, so to speak, over the last few years. Before I even fully get into it, I wanna say that I don't care about people's private lives. The only reason I even know about it is because Jada decided to bring it up on an episode of Red Table. For anyone who hasn't seen it, you must be living under Chris Rock. <laughs> In the interview, she tells Will Smith that she has had an entanglement 
with a rapper slash singer named August Elsina. It's one of the most hurtful things to watch, to see my boy Will Smith be visibly hurt. It almost feels as if Jada is manipulating Will with her words to get what she wants. And this is not just me saying that. I'll translate. I cheated, I enjoyed it, I felt good, here's why I wasn't wrong. What a toxic woman. Everything is just so justifiable in her head. It is almost like she invented a whole story so that she could feel better about the things she did while invalidating Wool's feelings. Watching this after the Smith Rock altercation, this woman does not deserve what Smith had done for her at the academies. Shake my head! This woman holds the purest form of narcissism and manipulation. It's honestly sad and disgusting. Why is she saying like she went through a spiritual phase? Nah girl, you cheated! So as you can tell, I'm not the only one. So the theory that I'd like to pose is that the relationship between him and Jada has taken such a toll on him that he acted out of either self-defense or to try and win her back or out of some fit of rage that he had that was all due to the marriage. Because over the last few years, he's been dealing with the scrutiny of the public's opinion way more than he probably would like to. And I understand that it's a very hard thing to do because really, it's yours and not ours. We should not be involved in your marriage. But the fact that Jada keeps bringing it up and the fact that Will keeps having to prove himself always makes us aware of their relationship more than even I want to know. I wanted to show you some of the moments at that Red Table talk because it's pretty tough. Started a friendship with August mm -hmm. and we actually became really, 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 really good friends. Yeah. So Will Smith is like, hey, what did you do? And she's like, I got into an entanglement with August. And he's like, what does that mean, Jada? And she's like, it's a relationship, you dirty. I just didn't want to say it because it sounds worse. You know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement. You need to say clearly what happened. And I got into an entanglement with August. Yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship. Absolutely. I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. Can you imagine sitting at a table with your wife and she's like, I just wanted to feel good. That's why I went into a relationship with someone else. And then she says the words, it had been a really long time since I had felt good. While your husband is sitting across the table probably dying inside. Tell the world uh, about your transgressions. <laughs> well, but I actually don't look at it as a transgression at all. Through that particular journey, I learned so much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I was really able to do some really deep healing. Mm -hmm. uh, Jada then says that she's learned so much from dating August that it's not even a bad thing. It's actually one of the greatest things that's happened to her in front of Will Smith, her husband. <laughs> it was a joy to help heal somebody. The connotations that come with that. I, I suppose this is the first time you ever saw cracks in the relationship. This man had never experienced anything bad to, like, to our knowledge. He has managed to weather every single storm. And then somehow in 2020, you have him sitting down looking like he is about to cry. Because his wife had had an entanglement with another man. What's furthermore is that Will said that he allowed it to happen. And Jada clapped back saying, uh, he, I don't need anybody's permission. I just did it. I'm gonna get you back first. <laughs> I think you <laughs> I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> that seems like the laugh of anything but funny. You know what I mean? Like it's not really like the laugh of haha, me and my wife told a funny. This is more the laugh of <laughs> once the cameras are off, we are gonna really talk, Jada. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. They even said it. Your shitty marriage, right? Fist bump it. Shitty marriage. Woo! Hey, hey, hey. Don't fist bump it. Slap it. You know what I mean? So that was 2020. A few months later, Jada Pinkett Smith decided to talk about her and Wool and how they do in the bedroom. Something that I think is TMI, but TMZ would think it's right up their alley. She said, it's hard. The thing that Will and I talk about a lot is the journey. We started this at a very young age, you know, 22 years old, Jada said. That's why the accountability part really hit for me because I think you expect your partner to know what you need, especially when it comes to the bedroom. It's like, well, if you love me, you should know. If you love me, you should read my mind. That's a huge pitfall, insinuating that Will did not satisfy her. And people in the comment section and in Twitter 
were having a go at them. Now, unfortunately, this dates back beyond 2020, back to when they were first married. In fact, since 2010, there have been rumors you're in and you're out about infidelity among the two and divorce rumors. Stuff that celebrity couples deal with that maybe other people don't have to. And I'm sure it puts a strain on the relationship. I really do sympathize with that situation. I'm sure it must be very hard to deal with. But at the same time, putting it out there into the public and then expecting them not to say something is just plain stupid. Pictures surfaced from when Jada was with August Alsina and memes began to fly. And now we get to 2022. It's been nearly two years of people clowning them on social media. The thing is that Wool, for some reason, has the need to constantly feel that he has to prove something to either Jada or us, the audience. And I don't know why. I mean, there was this thing when Jada Pinkett was with Tupac and Will Smith came out and said how jealous he was every time Tupac was around. Were you ever jealous of the love Jada had for Tupac? Uh, oh, fuck yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it, you know? But, but yeah, no, I was <laughs> deeply, deeply um, uh, insecure um, and just, I, I wasn't man enough to handle that relationship. Which is a normal thing, I guess. It's nothing bad. But then you start seeing how every time Jada Pinkett is around another person, Will Smith goes out of his way to do something or say something. For instance, there had been millions of entanglement memes. It's something that you can't stop. And a lot of them were pretty funny. Now, if you're gonna go and say this in public, you probably have to withstand the memes that come with it. But for some reason, Will Smith didn't. He put a video out of him working out and jumping rope on his Instagram, and someone commented saying, I hope you don't get into an entanglement. And Will Smith laughed at the joke, said it was funny, and then said, I'm definitely blocking you, but it is funny. I have no idea why Will Smith felt the need to block this person. For making a joke. That person is not the only person who made the joke and blocking the silence out was never gonna help. So you can already see that this is affecting him beyond what it should. Furthermore, Will Smith also came out with a book called Wool in which he details his own sensual activities for absolutely no reason and also talks about him and Jada Pinkett and how they used to do it so much when they first met, multiple times a day for four months to be exact. He said, and I quote, I was either going to satisfy this woman or die trying. Which is just not something that you want to hear. Hearing one of your idols say this weird stuff and go into this weird, like, I need to prove to you that this is my marriage and this is how it is, it feels kind of weird. That's like Keanu Reeves saying, I have to bust a nut every day. Like, it's too much for me. I'm happy with your relationship if you're happy with it, Wool. I just... Don't get why he keeps trying to prove to people that it's a good relationship. So to recap, we have the Red Table talk, then we have Jada Pinkett talking about intimate details, then we have Wool releasing a book of his intimate details. Come to 2022, a month before the Oscars, and we have the BAFTA Awards. Will Smith didn't turn up to this award show, but host Rebel Wilson made a joke about him and Jada. Will Smith winning for King Richard. But personally, I thought his best performance in the past year has been being okay with all of his wife's boyfriends. <laughs> what? He come on, he didn't show up. I mean, and she's right, he didn't show up. But if he did, you might have been choke slam, bitch. I don't So Will Smith wasn't even at this award show. But he heard about the joke and literally had time to address it. This is what he said. Will Smith hits back after Rebel Wilson's brutal joke about his marriage. Will Smith has defended his marriage after Rebel Wilson made a controversial joke about his relationship. The actor said in response, there's never been infidelity in our marriage. Jada and I talk about everything and we have never surprised one another with anything ever. He said that the pair began to explore polygamy because they were both miserable and clearly something had to change. He confirmed that they both had flings with other people after his wife openly spoke about her entanglement with rapper August Alsina in 2020. Which is crazy. The feeling that Will Smith needed to justify that over a stupid joke is beyond me. My guy, you're in a beautiful marriage. You have amazing kids. I don't think you need to prove to anybody else other than your partner that you love them. But it feels bad when you're giving the negativity that energy. Do you know what I mean? Also, I want to go on record and say that I know who Jada had the fling with. Haven't heard who you had the fling with. So 
I'm not saying that you made it up to compensate. I'm just saying that somebody probably would have said something by now if it was true. And that was a month ago. Now we get to this and Chris Rock makes an ill-timed joke and Will Smith erupts. It's been bubbling up for a long time and I think that this theory has the most validity. Out of everything, I give this an 8 out of 10. I think this is probably the most likely possibility of it happening. People went as far as to go on Will's Instagram page as well as Jada's and noticed that Will had a picture of both of them, but Jada only had herself in it. And maybe it's nothing, but maybe it's a metaphor to show how one person cares more about herself than the other. Honestly, it's a really sad theory. And I feel very sorry for the guy if this is the case, because he's such a staple of American cinema. He's such a staple to the international world. We all want this man to be happy, but we can't be happy if he's in a place where he's not happy. And at the end of the day, it's still wrong to take out all of your aggression on someone else, which is what I think happened. So that is theory number three. Whoa, breaking news. So just today, at the time of filming this video, Will Smith on his Instagram issued a public apology. People can't comment on it, and I don't like when people can't comment on it because I like to see the consensus, but let me read it for you. Violence in all its forms is poisonous and destructive. My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Jokes at my expense are part of the job, but a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear, and I reacted emotionally. I would like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. I am embarrassed and my actions were not indicative of the man I want to be. There is no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. I would also like to apologize to the Academy, the producers of the show, all the attendees and everyone watching around the world. I would like to apologize to the Williams family and my King Richard family. I deeply regret that my behavior has stained what has been an otherwise gorgeous journey for all of us. I am a work in progress. Sincerely, Will. So how do you feel about that? Some people have said to ban him from future Oscars for this not to happen again. Other people thinking that it's a little too late and that this was probably a PR stunt from his publicist. While other people actually defended Will and said it was warranted and that he can learn. The line that I want to highlight personally is, but a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear and I reacted emotionally. Unfortunately, I find that kind of hard to believe because when we look back at the footage again, it looks like Wool is laughing initially until Jada looks at him. So it seems like he actually enjoyed the joke until the point he saw his wife not really feeling it, which is its own thing, but it seems to contradict some of the apology. Furthermore, saying the words unacceptable and inexcusable only go so far without actually any repercussion. Do the words feel empty or is there anything else that he could even do to possibly prove that he is not actually this person on one hand it's good that he offered an apology but on the other hand what repercussions is he facing i feel like if you do something that bad on national television you should still have to pay right or maybe you don't because chris rock has refused to press charges chris rock not pressing charges after will smith slap at oscars lapd says so that's that lapd busts in they bust right out of there and i guess if chris rock doesn't want anything to be done about it then he doesn't that's pretty good on his spot really gracious i would say because i'll tell you right now if someone pump slap me in front of everyone at the Oscars, it's going down. Conclusion. We broke this whole thing down, we've offered some theories, and it comes down to this. At the end of the day, I think you can go either way with this. You could say what Chris Rock said was offensive, or you could say to lighten up and that it's just a joke he couldn't have possibly known. Whichever way you side with is up to you. But the thing we should all be agreeing on is that you cannot do that to another person. It was not warranted. I think there are many emotions Will must have felt, but that does not qualify you to go up to someone and do that to them. I feel like there were a million other ways he could have dealt with that. Maybe pulling him to the side. Even if he walked up on stage and said, you cannot talk about her like that. Anything but what he did would have probably been better. Look, I'm from a place where we grew up with an eye for an eye mentality, and I can tell you firsthand experience that does not work. It doesn't. I think that Will Smith genuinely had a momentary lapse in judgment and he let it get too far, but I'm really disappointed that he was not able to hold back his emotions. Whether you feel that or not, it's not okay to do what he did. Will Smith did a thing, and in my opinion, that thing was wrong. And I say that, as a huge fan of his. He is a work in progress, like he said. And I am well aware that people make mistakes, but at the biggest junction of your career, on a stage where millions of people are watching, where you laughed at a joke, and then looked at your wife and said, I need to do something about it. In my opinion, I really don't think you should have taken the route that you took. Honestly, some respect has been lost. And I don't normally do this, but I think I'm gonna need to leave a comment on his latest video. So let's do that. Dear Wall, I wanted to write something from the heart and didn't know where else to reach you. 
You don't know me and I cannot speak for everyone, but I hope I speak for some when I say I am a huge fan. I looked up to you as a kid, and you made me believe that anything was possible. Through your shows, interviews, and personable attitude, you show me that with strong work ethic, respect, and kindness, you can achieve greatness. So it is with great pain that I say how much I felt let down by what you did at the Oscars. I think you left a lot of people in shock. I know I was. However, at the end of the day, I know that time heals all. I hope you seek the healing you need. And I know that a man is not defined by his mistakes. I wish you all the best in your future. But violence has no place in a world of love, as you said. Sincerely, Leo. <laughs> and that's it. That's the video. I can't believe I spent my whole week researching Will Smith. Oh, what's that? Sorry. Oh, crap. Where am I? I don't remember anything. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, hey, Will Smith. I haven't heard from him in a while. I wonder what he's up to. Let me just look on the internet. Oh, my God. Now, this is a story all about how I'm telling you to subscribe to me right now. Seriously, just do it. I'm trying to brainwash you. I'm trying to brainwash you, so do it.